Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. Today is uh, Wednesday, January 28th. This is our daily NBA show that we've been doing with Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com. Huge card tonight, 11 games. Joe Duffy, thanks for being back with us. Thank you for having me, Peter. All right, Joe, we're, we're still doing okay. Yesterday was kind of a rough day. We're 10-7 uh, and seven against the spread combined overall, which is fine if we can repeat that, getting a little bit uh, dangerously close to uh, 500, both of us. Right, Joe? So I, I guess so. I keep track of the premium plays, but I, I right. shall take your word for it. That's the problem. The problem is I'm giving my absolute top plays of the day in this show. You're giving your, uh, your level right below that, right? Because all your top plays go into OffshoreInsiders.com, right, Joe? Yeah, but I think that people are going to find out even my free plays are going to hit at a higher percentage than about 90 percent of the industry's premium plays so i don't have no problems being held accountable for them either all right well before we get into uh, the analysis of today's card just tell us quickly what offshoreinsiders.com is all about and tell us what you have uh, for sale going tonight big card tonight yes yeah, 69 and 48 in basketball that's right at about 59 percent this is actually my biggest weekday card of the entire season bigger than most saturday cards I've got a total of eight winners including wise guy plays in both the NBA and college basketball. Wait till you see what I got, baby. 11 games. I've been looking at some of these games closely. The first game that I've been kind of looking at, Detroit-Philly, right? Uh, Detroit, uh, well, they lost Brandon Jennings, and uh, they've been playing some, some top teams kind of well, though. Now they're playing their fourth game in five nights going on the road into Philly. Uh, when the line opened, when the total opened at 194, I like the under. Now it's down to 192 or 192 and a half. I'm not exactly sure what I think about that. I'm kind of leaning towards uh, Philly, though, right now. Plus seven or seven and a half is the line market wide. And, you know, Philly is 12 and nine. As bad as they are, there's 12 and nine against the spread at home. And is this the kind of game that they might have a, a small edge on with their, with their lines? I think maybe so. So I think I'm going to give Philly plus seven and a half as a pick. What's your take on that, Joe Duffy? I actually do have a free pick on this game, although I'm going to go with the total. The problem is for the uh, Sixers, when I was compiling this, looks like Michael Carter-Williams is questionable for Philadelphia. And one of the under-the-radar injuries, uh, Tony Roten's a pretty good player for Philly. Nice yeah. young player. Uh, supplies a lot of offense, and he is now going for the year. So when you're talking about a pretty good player on a bad team, that's an injury that's going to sneak under the radar. The Sixers have uh, actually gone under 6 of 7 without him. And you know, as you said, with the injury to Jennings, Detroit is minus some some firepower. Williams could be out of the uh, lineup. The Sixers are 0 and 2 um, without Williams. So I'm actually going to go with the under here. But what makes me a little bit nervous? It's not a phenomenal system in that it doesn't rise to our level of of really making us look further at it. But what would scare me away from your pick? Teams are 24 and 64 after a game on the road in which they shot less than 35 percent from the field and that says the fade the Sixers so it says look you know I think that shooting is something that really you have to stay you're either in a groove or out of the groove that's something that that can really you know as I said you really need to be in a groove for that and it says to fade a team that's been shooting poorly lately so I don't really agree with that. I don't have a, a premium play on the other side, but my pick here is on the under. All right, you talked me off it. I'm completely off of Philly, and you are going to give a, a free play on the under. Currently, 192.5 is uh, one of the uh, market-wide numbers? Yes. Okay, and then uh, let's move over to uh, the Wizards and Phoenix. That's another game I was looking at. You know, uh, the Wizards are also kind of in a tough scheduling spot right now. They're kind of banged up. Pierce is, uh, was out last night, and... Uh, and John Wall might be kind of banged up, and Phoenix is at home and coming off of two straight home losses. So it feels like a bounce-back spot for Phoenix and feels like kind of a down spot for the Wizards. The, the, the line's kind of high, though. Right now, Phoenix minus 6.5. What do you think about Phoenix minus 6.5? Well, as you did mention, now Washington is playing back-to-back -back in three games in four days. Now, I'm not very big in the trends, but sometimes, you know, I have to make notice when you have something that's statistically overwhelming. And uh, this here certainly is. Washington is 0-16 against the spread after playing on the road against the Lakers. Now, of course, the Lakers have changed their – yeah, one time they were one of the better teams in the NBA. Now they're one of the worst, but they're still a marquee team, and you're talking about an East Coast team after playing on the road at the, at the Lakers. But uh, but conversely, conversely, and this is more short term, only since uh, December the 3rd of this year, but teams are 0-19 at home after a double-digit loss in which they had an assisted turnover ratio of at least 2-1. to one. So that says to fade Phoenix. So mm -hmm. I can't really talk you in or, or, or out of it. This is, it's probably as firm of a pass. All right, I'm not going to take Phoenix. All right, I'll tell you what I am going to take. This one might be, might be a loser, but if it's a loser, I'll just drop to 6-5. and five. I can handle that. I really don't want to, though. 
I think I'm going to go with New Orleans, the New Orleans Pelicans over Denver. Right now, minus six or six and a half is the market-wide number, so I can give myself minus six for the uh, purposes of these videos. And just New Orleans just kind of playing well. They have, uh, you know, quality players now who are in, a, in sort of an upswing. Uh, Tyreek Evans is playing well. They're just kind of – they've got a good uh, – uh, a good feel about the team going on, and Denver is kind of the opposite. And uh, you know they're 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 not good on the road. They're eight and twelve against the spread on the road. I see the Nuggets as kind of a team that's uh, that's very beatable right now, going on the road, playing a team that's uh, that's kind of winning and covering right now. I am going to take the Pels. The Pels are also fourteen and six against the spread at home. They've covered four games in a row. Pelicans minus six, definitely going to be one of my uh, free plays today. What do you think about that? Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com. Yeah, well, definitely all the trendmeisters should have the, uh, the New Orleans there. As they're 22-4 and four when they have a revenge game at home next. So that says that they're, they're not a look ahead. But, yeah, I, I certainly cannot talk you out of that. Denver isn't really a team I'm overly impressed with. And as you said, New Orleans is a team that's probably – slightly better than their their record state so uh no reason for me to talk you out of that all right i think i'm just going to stick with one pick with one pick new orleans minus six you've given us a detroit philly under 192 and a half is that it or are there any other games that you uh, want to discuss today no i'm going to go with um the oklahoma city new york game under the total mm -hmm. you know a lot of times in in injury when it comes to injuries in the nba it's a little tougher to sneak under the radar at ats but i think over under you can a little bit more it's a kevin duran is going to be out for the Thunder and OKC is going under 16 and 8 without him. And look, you know, he's obviously one of the top defensive, he's one of the top offensive players, I should say, in the league. He's the second best player in the league. So certainly they're going to miss him and usually taking into account a little bit more uh, ATS than it is over under. Uh, you know, it's tough. I'm not going to fade Oklahoma City in this situation, even though they're without the second best player in the league because New York has the second worst. Net rating in the league at minus 12.7 over the last 15 games. And again, people aren't, aren't watching all their videos, or maybe if for some reason they're not a premium client of mine, net rating is taking the offensive um, points per 100 possessions against the defensive points per 100 possessions, and uh, you subtract the uh, the points given up from the points gotten. So it's, it's kind of like a points per game difference, but takes into account efficiency. It's similar to that, but much better, much more accurate as far as the gambler's concerned to go with the efficiency ratings. And obviously New York, not only very inefficient overall, but they continue to be inefficient recently. So I'll probably stay away from the side, but I do like the under. So I got two unders for you, uh, Peter. Yeah, I was uh, thinking about that one as well, actually. Right now, 196 or 196 and a half is the market-wide line. So we can give you under 196 and a half on that one. Yeah, OKC trends under on the road. Knicks trend under at home. And both teams have been trending under in the recent uh, short term. All right, so those are our, our picks for today. Detroit, Philly under 192 and a half. And OKC, New York under 196 and a half are Joe Duffy's picks. And I'm going to take New Orleans minus six. And before I wrap it up, just do you have anything to say about the fascinating uh, Atlanta Hawks. You know, they had been just absolutely, uh, you know, in an other world ATS winning streak, but they finally got an ATS loss in their last game. Still was a double digit uh, a win straight up, but they were a 17 and a half point favorite. So winning by just 12 uh, at home means that they got the loss. And now, you know, they're in another situation where it's just you're wondering, is the line too big? Minus 13 and a half at home against Brooklyn. Do you have anything to say about Atlanta? Do you think the recent ATS loss is sort of a sign that the market is catching up, maybe even possibly over over uh, compensating now? Yeah, there, there's definitely a point of diminishing return when you have a team that is a covering machine. But I don't think the odds makers have caught up to the Hawks yet, because as I said, the Hawks are not a team that has a, a superstar. They're not yet a marquee team. They have just so much depth. And Atlanta is playing beautiful at both ends of the court. The last 15 games, they're, um, set, they're the third best defensive efficiency team and the third best offensive efficiency team over the last 15 games. So they're playing very well at both ends of the court. No, they're not coming off of a straight-up loss, which – would put them in a letdown situation. They're still coming off an impressive victory. But, yeah, they, they were laying so many points, and they were actually playing away in the, the third quarter. I was uh, at a, a function for one of my kids and watching that game on my uh, my iPhone, sneaking in that. It looked like the Hawks were going to have another blow up. But, no, I don't think it is the time to start fading the Hawks yet, and in part because they're just not a marquee team. And as I said, uh, they just don't really have that superstar. But, but clearly – 
you know, they're not at the value, and uh, that's maybe overstating the obvious. When they went on a 21, right. a 20 and one run, they're certainly not the value that they used to be. But I don't think it's reached. They have reached a point of diminishing return yet. So still keep an eye on the Hawks in a positive sense, not to fade them. All right, Joe. Great show once again. Thanks so much, and talk to you tomorrow. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year round, a real time Vegas style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.